Hey guys, so today I have this look that I filmed for you guys. I love it so much. It's so sexy, sultry, cat eyes, smoky, sparkly, and colorful all in one look. And it's so simple. There's only three products. You just gotta blend until your arm falls off and that's it. But today I used the new SC Edit Fluid Metal Eyeshadows. I used the burgundy and the pink today. So if you guys wanna stick around and see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So we're gonna jump right into my foundation routine and I'm gonna pick up the Pure Cosmetics Barrett All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. Now for concealer, I'm going into Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in Light. Now I'm gonna blend in my concealer Now with my RCMA No Color Powder, I'm going to set underneath my eyes. And then set my entire face with my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. Okay, so really quickly before I finish off my face, I'm going to include how I do my brows because I get so many questions about how I fill my brows. And I do have other tutorials dedicated just to my brows, but I figured why not just show it to you guys today in this video. So I use the Benefit Cabrow Brow Gel in number five. So let me zoom you in a little bit and then I'll show you really quickly how I fill them in. Okay, so the top of this product is actually a brush. It's a little angled brow brush and then you click it into the top and there is your brush, which I think is really cool. So what I do first is I usually outline the bottom of my brow first and then I'll go in and do my arch. I have a lot of fullness from here to here. So you can see that's where the most fullness of my brow is. So I usually avoid this area. I'll concentrate mostly on creating that arch and then just filling in the front a little bit. So I'm first just outlining the bottom of my brow. This is a little bit warm for me, but my hair is starting to get a little bit warmer as my natural hair starts to grow out, so it kind of matches pretty well. So starting like right about here, I lay my brush down and I'm going to start creating that arch. And then First, just go straight ahead, and then with whatever's left, just brush that through the brow. And once I get towards this arch area, this is where I'm going to start rounding off that brow. I lay my brush down, and then I just follow with that rounded shape. And then I connect that down to my tail, and then fill that in, because I do have a lot of sparseness on my arch. And then for the front of my brow, I just dip the brush in there. I just tap it into the product twice and then pick up really little bit and then just line the bottom. And then I start flicking that up while the brush is still flat against my brow, just flicking that color up. And then you can take your spoolie once again. This is the Brow and Lash F80 by Sigma and just run that through and that just brushes the product through your brows. Okay, so now for my highlight and contour and blush. I'm going to be using something new today and I'm going into these Pixie and Maria Maquillage collabs. I'm so excited. So this one is the highlight and contour palette and then this one is the glow and bronze palette. So I'm actually going to be using both today, but I'm first going to go into the highlight and contour palette and I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which is Boss Lady. And I'm going to apply that through my cheeks using my Sigma powder slash blush brush. Okay, I really, really like that shade. Wow, that's like the most perfect contour shade. It adds like a nice shadow. It's not too cool, not too warm. Wow, that's really, really, really beautiful. And now for blush, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Caviar Dreams. Oh, that's such a cute name. And I'm going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks using my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Glow and Bronze Palette for highlight, and I'm going to pick up Empress which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna highlight using my Sigma F03 High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. Okay, so that is the skin done. Oh my God, I love, I'm obsessed with these two palettes. I have to say, they're so beautiful. Okay, so now let's move on and do the eyes. I'm so excited to do this eye look. So I'm first starting off with a piece of tape and I just put it underneath my lower lashes and then connect it to the end of my brow. I'm going into the Sephora 12 hour jumbo crayon in purple. So this look is going to be super quick and simple. The only thing is that you have to work really quick with this look because all the products set and then you won't be able to move them around and blend them. So the only thing is three products, but you got to work quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to start running this all along my lid. 
this doesn't have to be neat just keep it close to your lid and then go a little bit where my crease starts folding over just go a little bit over your crease then with my Sigma E39 buff and blend brush I'm gonna start buffing this eyeliner out if the lid is not that neat that's okay because it is gonna be covered up but the main thing is start buffing out the crease so you're gonna go back and forth in windshield wipe motions and circular motions and just keep buffing that out until it starts blending out you could even switch over to a smaller like pencil brush kind of this is the domed utility E34 by Sigma and just keep buffing that out. It's gonna start buffing out eventually. <laughs> just keep doing it and it'll be blended all nicely. I'm going against the Estee Fluid Metal Eyeshadow and don't be afraid. Now once again, you're gonna work really quick when applying this onto your lid. So what I'm gonna start doing is start basically painting it onto my lid. It's so cold. And I'm gonna try avoiding my crease area as much as possible. I want it to go just slightly over my crease because I am going to try to blend that up there. And then once again, work really, really quick. I'm going to pat that in. And then start buffing out that crease. That's how quick and simple the lid is. And now I'm just going to take this tape off. So now for my lower lash, I'm just taking that Jumbo Crayon by Sephora again and just running that on my lower lash line. And this is the only thing that's going on my lower lash line. It's okay if it's like really roughly placed on there. And then I'm taking my Sigma E20 short shader brush and I'm going to start buffing that in. This pencil is so blendable and so smooth. It just blends out like butter if you work really, really quick. I'm now picking up the Estee Edit Fluid Metal Eyeshadow in Party of One. So I picked up that Fluid Metal Eyeshadow on this Sigma E21 smudge brush and I'm just patting that into my inner corner. This is just going to really bring the look together and add a nice little bright pop on the inner corner. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm picking up the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in M10. Now to really darken and sultrify this look even more, I'm applying some liner in my waterline and tight line. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm using these Esquito Lashes and Walla Lash, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the I look done. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my lips. Oh my god, my eye is tearing so bad. I don't know why it's been tearing all day, so if you guys see tears out here, I'm not crying. It's just my watery eyes. <laughs> okay, so for my lips, I want to keep them nude because I really want to keep the concentration on this really dramatic, bold, sexy, sparkly eye. And I'm first going to line my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Naked, and then I'm going to go in and fill them in with the Tarte Cosmetics Tardis Lip Paint in Namaste. And this is the original one, the one that's like that creamy formula. So I'm first going to line and kind of fill them in, and then I'm going to go in with the lip paint. And that is it. This is the completed look of my burgundy smoky cat eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love, love, love these fluid metal eyeshadows. They're amazing. I love how you can create so many different things. I actually use one of the golder ones as a highlight and it creates such a pretty effect. You can even use this pink one probably. You can apply it as a highlight on its own or you can apply it like over top of your highlight to add a nice little shimmer and it just creates a really nice effect. I don't have it on right now. I don't know why I'm like looking as if I have it, but it's really, really beautiful. You can use them as liners, as eyeshadows, and I'm really curious to see how they're going to be like over top of a lipstick also. I don't know. I'm really curious just to pop it in the center and see how that is. They're really fun. They're beautiful. The color range is stunning. Definitely check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I feel like I never say that, but join the fam. Come on, guys. <laughs> and a list of all the products that I used today along with the brushes, along with where you guys can find everything will be linked down in the description box. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that will be right here as well as down in the description box. And that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.